In today's video, we're gonna review the Sugon T26 soldering station. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman Dar Paratek channel. My name is Ayman. If you've been in this channel for a long time, you would know that I love tools and I consider it as my toys. I cannot give a feedback about tool that I not use. So I would like to thank Fans Create for sponsoring this video. They sent me the Sugon T26 soldering station so I can review it and give you my feedback about it. Let's see what's inside the box. Power cord. Uh, that's uh, a cord cable for uh, ESD protection for grounding the station. Uh, that's a plug and oops this is the handle of the iron looks same the gbc by the way but it's not gbc uh i don't know if gbc is using the same one and they are branding it gbc but this one there is no branding at all it looks identical with the gbc handle i have gbc this one is the handle holder it will hold the cable so it will not mess your desk and we get also three tips gbc original c210 each one of those worth uh, 45 dollars uh, i guess the station itself price is very affordable 45 dollars uh, multiply three uh, 130 140 something <laughs> i'm very bad in math and finally the station itself the station looks like the gbc but different in the interface if you want to check the price of this machine i will leave a link down below in the description box and fans create was generous enough to give all people watching my channel 10% discount on the price of this machine you can use this promo code and this will give you 10% discount when you buy the Sugon 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 T26 the iron comes with variety of shapes for tips you can have it with one flat head tip or the curved tip or the pointy one or you can have it with the three kind of tips and each option has its different price and it come also with US plug 110 volt or UK plug 220 volt or European plug 220 volt or AU I guess that's Australia plug 220 volt the tips we got is the knife one i don't know if you can see it and the straight the point one i use easy names because most of the people don't know the chisel and those uh, names of the iron shapes the tips shapes and this is uh same like the pointy one but it's curved one this c210 cartridge uh tips it's used for precision uh, soldering not everyday not general purpose soldering there is another handle for general purpose uh, jobs and different cartridge uh, different tips bigger tips this iron is not supposed to be used in everyday jobs you can use the knife tip it's the bigger one here you can use it it will work but the tip life will be very short so let's connect the knife tip professional irons has a very short distance between the tip and the grip it's called tip to grip uh, distance this is very good for precision soldering you are holding the iron like a pen so this will help you to be precise whenever you use a new tip you have to melt some solder to it before you really use it and i use kester solder it's my favorite and seems that the iron is working very well the tips also great so let me put the tip on temperature 380 put some flux and try to clean this board
<laughs> wow it's same gbc i'm telling you this is the lead free solder which is very hard to remove we usually put a leaded solder on top of it and power chip has a lot of uh, ground and the iron is doing very well i don't care i don't care if fans create sponsored this video but really if someone is uh, considering to buy uh, gbc iron this is exactly the same but more cheaper go down to the description box and check the link uh, to this iron from fans create they are not the one who made it but they are a reseller and they are the sponsor of this video so let's do a jumper let's do the audio ic jumper So let's change the tip. Uh, GBC has a place on top where you can hold the station like this. They remove the tip like that to hold the tip and then you unplug it like that. But this machine doesn't have this uh, option. So you have to turn it off, wait it to cool down. Or if you have that rubbery band where I have it, but I cannot find it, then remove the tip, then put the new one. Let's put some solder to the tip. Wow. You can see the, the point of the tip is very hot. My hand is very shaky because I'm doing this video while I'm on a rush. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing very bad job here. Really, it's not the iron fault, it's, it's me. Everybody can see it's not the iron fault, it's you. That's a very lousy jumper, don't, don't judge me for that. I, uh, really, <laughs> my, my hand is very shaky, I, uh, my flight is very soon and I'm, I'm on a rush, so. Please, this is not my soldering skills. I'm very jealous right now because I paid 500 or more dollars on my GVC and this piece of highly recommended, really, really highly recommended. But please, you have to know, this not an iron for everyday job. This is called precision irons not for cleaning not for everyday work you can do everyday work with this i don't know if it's hot or not with this tip the knife tip but uh, you will waste it sometimes i like to use it for cleaning under the chips just for fun just to enjoy it but if you are asking me what i use for cleaning uh, use this rubbish iron this iron i not use it for soldering i just use it for cleaning it's a cheap iron i guess the price difference could be because gbc is certified iron and this is not certified but for us as a technicians who cares about certification we care about the performance i don't know if we change the handle if we used gbc handle the t 245 i guess i will put it here put the right number here if you can put if if you can change this handle or buy another handle for general purposing and buy another uh, cartridge or they call the tips gbc call the tips cartridge uh, if you buy 
another general purpose uh, GBC uh, tips it may work I'm not sure if you already tried this please leave me a comment below tell me if it works for you or no thanks to fans create for sponsoring this video go visit their site I hope you enjoyed watching this video my work here is done I'll see you next one